Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. Uh, today, let us understand uh, some more technical things. Yesterday, I have told you what to learn in order to complete this course. Only Power BI is not sufficient. Compulsorily, you have to learn a few more things. That is what I told you yesterday. So, any graduate, any year pass doubts, e easy to learn, no coding, non-IT people, can get into IT, hard skill placements and job support will be given. You could be 2010 passed out or 2012 passed out. You could be a sales guy for 10, 15 years or you should you may be housewife for 10, 15 years, doesn't matter. You should be able to get into IT industry very, very easily. But only thing is that you need to have the proper skills from very, very basic level to advanced level. So never, never think. So many people are giving, not giving the proper time to learn the you know courses. You know, they have to learn the course in within one month and they want to get a job. Can it happen? It cannot happen at all. So you studied for 20, 25 years, you're able to get 20,000 rupees job, right? If you do a graduation or beta or MTech, you're able to get only 20, 30,000 rupees job. But you are not ready to spend not even one month to get into, you know, IT company means it will be, you know, definitely useless thinking guys. You need to give enough time to understand the skills. So without skills, so never, never think that I will go by back door. I will go by proxy. So if you think like that, you lose the money, you lose the confidence, you lose the opportunities, you lose everything if you think like that. So don't, you know, go to the brokers. So brokers always will say, you are wasting time. Don't waste your time. Give me the money. I will give you the job within one month or two months. I have given the jobs to many people. He never tell, but he will never tell you that those people already left the companies and they lost the jobs and everything. I had seen many people who paid 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakhs and they lost the opportunities in the IT industry without subject. You cannot be there in the IT industry. Never, never reach brokers, I'm telling you. Even though they are very near to you, they are your friends, they are your relatives, or still you say, no, I wanted to learn the course first. And if I don't get a job, then I'll come to you. But I don't want to go into the proxies. And we don't uh, recommend the proxies and backdoor entries at all into the IT industry, guys. You never believe. And you should not be thinking also like that. Always, you need to have the proper skills only. You spend a minimum three to six months time. You can become a data analyst because as I told you, recession is a temporary, skills are permanent. Once the skills are with you, once the recession gets over, you will be able to easily get into IT industry because many people from, you know, co BCom background, BSc background, M M MSc background, B Pharmacy background, MPhil background, those people converted from pharma, insurance, banking, you know, all these sectors, people, even teachers, housewives got into IT sector with very, very good salaries. In my own family, I have almost 30 to 50 people working in the data analytics. Myself started a career in year 2000. And since then, I'm completely into SQL and data analytics. So you don't go into java.net because completely coding, you will not be able to understand anything. Many Java developers have converted to data analytics. Many .NET developers converted to data analytics. Clear? So anybody can jump any uh, from any industry to any industry. But only thing is that you need to have proper mentor, not only Power BI. Many people think that if I learn Power BI, I will get a job. 100% you don't get a job because only Power BI is not sufficient. You need to have the proper mentor, right? Only story, you have a lot of cinema stories, but why only Rajmoli takes it, it will become hit or when the avatar director takes it, it will become hit. It is not the story always. It is always the director or the mentor. So you need to have the proper mentors in your life so that you can easily get into any sector. If you don't catch the proper mentors, if you catch only the courses or if you listen to the people, you know, who don't have any knowledge, then end of the day, you lose the money, you lose the confidence, you lose everything. Clear? So remember that you need to have the proper mentors in your life. So even though Gandhiji couldn't, you know, win, uh, not even a single co, you know, case against British government, when, when he completed his uh, law and came from London, he started his business in Rajkot. Now, he is not able to, you know, win not even a single you know, case against the you know, British government. After that, he stopped. 
the practice in law and he went to south africa he was there in south africa almost for 25 years at the age of 20 at the age of 48 he came back to india then one you know uh, uh, mentor you know who's the mentor of gandhi is he dada by nauroji and a lot of other people and gopala krishna gokhale gopala krishna gokhale Data by Nauraji was the mentor for the Gandhiji. They invited, hey Gandhi, you have very, very good leaderships. You have very, very, very good knowledge. But only the leadership, knowledge, intelligence that is not sufficient to you, we will give you proper mentoring. You come back to India. So he was, you know, fighting against British uh, in South Africa. So these people invited Gandhi ji back to India. Now Gandhiji mentor was Dada by Nauraji and Gopala Krishna Gokhale. Because of these two mentors, now what has happened? So even though you're brilliant, you're in a, you have very good skills, but still you will be able to fail. You will be failing. But what is important? You need to have proper mentoring. If the mentors are not there in your life, even though you study in Cambridge, even though you study in a lot of IITs, you know, you don't get the much more opportunities. You will get some opportunities, but you will not be there in the you know, given position, that is for sure. Clear? That is what. So, yesterday I'm, you know, talking about what all you need to learn to understand Power BA. Only if you learn Power BA, that is not sufficient. Compulsorily, you have to learn SQL Server. And unfortunately, we don't have live classes. We need to buy videos and learn from the videos. And Power BA live classes are going to be there. May and June month, you have to practice only these two subjects okay sql server or you can say database management system database is important so 60 percent of the interview questions are going to be coming from this so you have to study sql very very well so don't tell me sir you know my uh, my brother will teach me i have some udemy videos all these things are useless i have studied in my btech sir i have a light knowledge on sql all these things are useless you will not be able to get into it industry the next one you need to learn power bi with the tax live classes are going to be happening so this videos will be given and uh, power bi so may and july you have to concentrate only this two this will be 45 days course and you will have 45 hours. Two months is sufficient for you to complete. In the month of July, you have to also complete one more course called SSIS. This will be for one month. Am I clear? So these three you have to complete without fail to get into data analytics and you will be able to get a lot of other courses for free. Data warehouse, I'm going to be giving for free seven days course. SSAS, I'm going to be giving a free five days course. One project is included, case studies are included, job preparation, everything I'm going to be giving you free. You only you need to practice, practice, practice and uh, you can easily get into IT industry. You could be any year passed out, doesn't matter. But only thing is that you need to have proper mentoring. Okay, so I wanted to, you know, start the class today. So one of the guy, one of the guy asked Microsoft, okay. We need to understand uh, data analytics or business intelligence means yesterday I told you if you wanted to deal with the data analytics, first of all, you need to understand what is a data, right? If you wanted to understand a data analytics or business intelligence, first of all, you need to understand what is a data. One, one journalist in US asked to Microsoft, what do you mean by data? Microsoft says data is currency today. That is what Microsoft told. So Google is not selling anything directly, but how come they're very, very rich? WhatsApp is not selling any product to you directly. How they're very rich in this world? So Facebook is not selling anything to you directly. How come they're very rich in this world? At least Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart guys are selling some products. They could be rich, but how come, Wal uh, how come a WhatsApp, you know, Instagram, Twitter, so they're not selling anything to you directly, but still they are rich because they have your data. Clear? Microsoft says that data is currency today. But the same question is asked to Google. Google says, so what is data? When you ask this question to Google, Google says, 
data is everything today whatever you think of whatever you think of everything data 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 you're talking about artificial intelligence you're talking about robotics okay robots you're talking about uh, you know uh, driverless cars whatever you think of whatever you think of so everything is because of data 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 but the question is what is the size of the data that you have you may be having personal data you may be having a business data but what is the size of the data that you have so let us talk about a company called my company i'm using i'm getting the data every month i'm getting the data so what is the data i'll get every month so maybe megabytes of data every month we get thousands of inquiries clear all the data i'm going to be storing in the excel sheet so let me show you my data so every month we get lot of data all the data where i'm storing all the data i'm storing in excel sheet only okay so let me just show my data where is the data i have some students inquiry form so whenever you call for a course my team is going to be writing your details into the excel sheet so every month i will be able to get only 1000 inquiries now when you call i write your name serial number course which you require gender male or female date of calling and what is the phone number what is the email id and if you are happy after attending the demo you may be making the payment fee details and the paid date so we know that these people have joined and these people have inquired but not joined something like that i have some data every month how much of data i am able to get it i am able to get the 1000 rows or 2000 rows every month all the data i am going to be keeping it here so once in a month what i do i create a report or i create a summary i create what summary what kind of a summary i create i create a summary like that so in 2021 january power ba how many people have inquired msba how many people have inquired i go account manually i count manually how many people have inquired for power ba 1 to like that i am manually counting how many people have inquired for you know a sequel one two how many people have inquired msbi manually i am counting i am able to create one report like that okay manually i am counting i am able to create january power bi msbi sequel python devops like that so i i'll create one more report what is the fee collected in you know you know january uh, for the Power BI course, MSBA course, SQL course, Python course, Java course, DevOps course, all the number of people inquired. This is one report and one more report is called as what is the amount collected for, you know, each and every course in the given month. So that is how I'm going to be taking the data. This is what is called a data, but I'm going to be creating a report. This is what is called a summary. Clear? So this is also called as nowadays. This is what is called as a dashboard. Some kind of a dashboard I'm going to be creating. Dashboard means a summary. So people can easily see what is the sales, whether it's increasing, decreasing trend. You can compare the month by month, course by course. You can do a lot of decision making based on this data. Clear? So this is the data I'm going to be storing it. Using this data, I'm going to be creating a, a summary. Summary report I'm going to be creating. This report I'll be sending to my boss. Everything I'll be using or doing it manually. And this report I'm going to be sending it to my boss so that they will take the decisions clear why the sales is good here why the sales is bad here so the sales is very good the number of people are more here but that gradually the number of people are you know going down why it is going down people have to understand so when you create a report and give it to them they will be able to understand what could be the reason the reason could be we don't know but at least you have to create a report and send it to them so take the data convert the data into information that is what normally we're going to be doing it okay now as i told you you take the data all the data where are we storing all the data we're going to be storing in excel so what is that i have done i'm storing the data i'm also processing the data 
processing means creating some kind of a reports or a dashboard so month wise course wise number of you know inquiries or fee collected so everything i'm going to be doing in the excel sheets only everything i'm doing it manually so what is the data i'm going to be getting every month thousands of inquiries and the total data may be 5 mb of data so think about amazon.com every month how much uh, sales going to be happening in amazon.com you tell me so when you go to amazon.com this is your amazon.com na huh? you go and you try to buy one laptop you try to get one buy laptop so how many people are going to be buying laptops or the product per day only 1000 guys per month no 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 right so every day amazon is going to be selling thousands of products you know co Uh, millions of products all over the world so all that data is not a small amount of data so you think amazon is getting every month gb sub data every month they are able to get lakhs of rows or you can say millions of data so 1 million is equivalent to what 10 lakhs when i'm saying million million means what 1 million is equivalent to 10 lakhs so every month they are getting millions 1 million 2 million 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 30 lakhs 10 million means 1 crore remember 10 million means what 1 crore 1 million is equivalent to 10 lakhs so this data the company cannot store them in the excel for example all the data may be every month they are getting 500 gb of data now tell me can i store this gbs data in excel sheet no 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 so when you have gbs of data there is a separate software called sql software or you can say database management or you can say rdbms software or tools we are going to be using to store the data remember clear when you have the megabytes of data excel sheets are going to be used when you have a gb sub data so excel sheets or flat file or any other software cannot be used it industry is going to be using a software called sql software or database management database software or rdbms software tools means softwares so relational relational database management system these softwares are going to be used clear so what are the popular sql software the number one is oracle it is a sql software or microsoft is you know has having its own uh, uh, sql software is called sql server it is from microsoft then there is a one more uh, sql software by ibm db2 database 2000 it is by ibm this is also sql software sql means you can store the large amount of data you can think sql as a store room or a godown or a tank or a drum in the drum or the tank what you do you are going to be putting the water and whenever you need you can get the water so sql is just like a godown or you can say tank or you can say bank clear so if you have the blood blood bank will be there if you have the gold gold bank will be there if we have the data data bank is going to be there the data banks are called as a database or it is also called as sql software clear if you wanted to store the data in the it industry large amount of data i'm talking about clear large means what i'm talking about gb sub data sql is going to be stored so what is sql sql is a data bank or database so store the data in the data bank or database so what are the popular databases are available oracle data bank sql server data bank or database db2 from ibm lot of companies are going to be providing so netiza is one more companies database it is also from ibm okay then terra data so all these are popular ones all these are popular databases you can go to any bank you can go to icic bank deposit the cash withdraw the cash you can go to state bank of india deposit the cash withdraw the cash all these are banks right all these are called just like a uh, banks only where you can deposit the data get the data deposit the data get the data purpose of sql means to store the data to get the data what is the purpose of a tank put the water get the water put the water get the water but you have different different uh, tanks are available all over the world right that is what you got to understand so you have so when you have a large amount of data 
these companies are available. Remember, dot, dot, dot. Thousands of RDBMS tools are available or SQL tools are available, or you can also call them as SQL tools or SQL tools. So when you have a large amount of data, who's going to be processing? Processing means I want to know what is the total sales. I want to know what is the average sales. I want to know what is the total sales, you know, Apple iPhone sales in India. I want to process the uh, data and create a report means processing purpose, we normally use a language. Clear? So you can use a language like C or you can use C++ or you can use Python or you can use Java, Dot, and anything you can use and you should be able to get the data and process this kind of a reports. Okay? This is the data I'm going to be having in the SQL and end of the day, nobody needs this kind of a data. They need this kind of a report, this kind of a summary. So who's going to be giving the summary? So somebody has to process the data. Who's going to be processing the data? Any language you can use. Go to uh, data purpose. These languages are going to go here and get the data and you should be able to process it. Clear? So when you go to Amazon.com, when you buy a laptop, you don't know that this data will go to this data will go to one of these servers only. Remember, clear? All these servers are available in the data center. So when you go and look for data centers, look for a data center, all these are servers, Oracle server, SQL server, you understand, okay? These are called what? Data centers. Now, all these are bigger, bigger machines where, or you know, Oracle is installed, SQL server is installed, and where whenever you buy a product, all the you know data of the product, when you go to amazon.com and buy a product, all your data will go to the data centers. These are will be monitored and maintained by the big, big IT companies only. So where is your data located? Your data is not located in your amazon.com. Remember amazon.com where you simply go and register and you buy something, the data amazon.com is going to be taking and it is going to be putting into a RDBMS computers. Where are the RDBMS computers are located? These are located in the bigger, bigger data centers. Who's going to be maintaining the data centers? These are going to be maintained by the bigger, bigger IT companies. Am I clear? So your, you know, SBI data, State Bank of India data, or you know, any bank data, insurance data, all the data will be located in these servers only. These computers or servers are available in your data centers only. Clear? So who's going to be maintaining the bigger, bigger computers? These data centers will be maintained by the DBA team, database administrators or networking people or the admin people are going to be maintaining. We are not going to maintain because we are called developers. Developers only will create the software, but somebody has to maintain the software. The Those people are called as admin guys. Am I clear? So you should not be worried about all these things. Now you have the data. Now you should be able to you know process this data and everything. So when you have the data, you can have in the SQL. But when the data size is size is more than uh, terabytes, for example, every month Amazon is getting. You think like this. Every month Amazon is getting. So 500 GB of data per month into 12 months of data, it will become 6 terabytes of data. So it will become 6000 GB of data is equivalent to, is equivalent to what? 6 terabytes of data into 10 years of data they wanted to store, it will become 60 terabytes of data. Can I store terabytes of data in the simple SQL servers or RDBMS servers means no, 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 no. When you have terabytes of data, it is in millions and billions of rows. So last 10, 20 years of data will be available, millions and billions of data. Okay, this data, so I am talking about millions or billions or you can say crores in Indian currency, right? So this data is going to be stored in the data warehouse tools remember okay so how do you store this much of a data means we are going to be storing the data in the data warehousing tools 
clear but what is a data warehouse how it is going to be prepared or created so data warehouse means you have to buy the large hardware and in that you have to install the sql software only remember so i'll show you my laptop configuration so i'll show you my laptop so this is my laptop c drive d drive e drive all together one terabyte of space only one terabyte and if i go uh if i go here i am able to see 8 gb of uh, ram and i5 processor and windows 11 pro I'm installing that's it so maximum if i install a oracle if I install Oracle or SQL Server or a DB2 in my laptop, maximum I can store one terabyte of data. Why? Because hard disk capacity is one terabyte. But if I buy a large hardware, what is the uh, computer I'm talking about? Very, very bigger computer. I'm having, let us think that I have uh, 100 terabytes of hard disk and 1000 GB of RAM and lot of processes are running in that machine. I'm going to be install SQL. SQL means Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, anything you can install. So this machine is called as a Oracle Data Warehousing Machine, remember. So this machine is called as Oracle Data Warehousing Machine. So data warehousing means what? It is a bigger hardware. Software wise, same software we're going to be installing it. There is no other software. It is SQL software. Any software you can install it. When you buy a bigger hardware, this is called as a data warehousing, you know, software. That is what you got to understand. So when you have this much of a data, who's going to be processing? So this is where you're going to be using BI tools or BI softwares. Clear? So what are the popular BI softwares are available? So the number one SAP BI or you can say SAS BI or you can have a Tableau BI or MS an Oracle BI or we have MS BI or we have a Power BI. So lot of BI softwares are available in this world. Not only uh, Power BI, a lot of BI tools are available, right? Tableau BI, this BI, lot of BI softwares are available. Let us concentrate on, you know, these uh, tools with MSB and Power BI, right? So you have uh, Tableau BI also there. You have not only MSBI, you have a Tableau BI is also available. Okay, na? so Tableau BI, a lot of BI you know, tools are available. Let us understand SAP BI, SAS BI, OBI. So what, you know, co the difference between Microsoft MSB. Microsoft is MSBI released in the year 2005. So these are released in early 1990 and early 2000. So these are only one reporting tool. You can create only beautiful reports and these are very, very complex tools and very, very costly tools. Okay, SAP BI, SAS BI, Oracle BI, all these are very, very costly and these are very, very complex to learn also. But people were using to create a lot of reports. Now, year 2005, Microsoft Business Intelligence started now, this is going to be having three tools, not only one tool. So, this is a collection of three tools. So, those are called, so called MSBA. These three tools are called as SSIS, SSAS and SSRS. So, this is what is called ETL tool. We'll talk about these tools tomorrow. And this is what is called analysis tool. You can analyze the data. And this is what is called a reporting tool. Okay, there are three tools are available in this tool. One has the SSIS, the second one is called SSAS, the third one is called SSRS, ETL tool, analysis tool and reporting tool. These are the three tools that we have. So, Microsoft has a good brand. Microsoft is having good brand and Microsoft is giving for free because Microsoft is having one RDBMS software also, SQL Server is a Microsoft software. Whenever you buy SQL Server, SQL Server, Microsoft is giving you MSBA is a free or 
they are charging one third you know cost of these applications this is only one tool but this is you know having three tools and microsoft is a brand because of this reason msba became so popular msba became so popular many people were using you know co no coding also no coding software no complexity if you wanted to create a report and if you wanted to analyze the data people are completely using msba software we'll understand what is a you know co data analytics and analysis everything will be understanding by tomorrow so just understand you know it is a microsoft business intelligence this is released in year 2005 so it is having three tools you can create a beautiful reports and visualizations and everything with the help of these three tools but suddenly what is happened in year 2000 and you know you can say uh year uh 2010 i think so what has done so there is a company called tableau ba so this tableau ba released into the market okay when it is released tableau ba said you need not have anything it is what is called self-service ba what is the meaning self-service ba means no technical knowledge is required you can create a beautiful report however i can go to excel sheet i can take this data i can take the data i can create a beautiful visualization like that i can simply go go click on this i can create a beautiful visualization you need not have any kind of a uh, knowledge on the excel or you need not know any technical things simply put some data go to home and insert and you choose something you will be able to create a beautiful visualization so you can create a beautiful reports like that so tableau ba said you you take the data you can create a beautiful report which is equivalent to excel only or more than excel it is very very easy it is what is called a self-service ba you get the data you create a beautiful reports you should be able to understand so no need of having a technical team because of this self-service ba many companies stopped using this kind of a reporting tool ssrs is a reporting tool and it is also a reporting tool only you can create a reports visualizations and reports clear it is also a reporting tool only you can create a beautiful reports with that excel is also number one reporting tool but excel cannot take more and more data and everything you have to do it you know manually in excel sheet but more things are automated so anybody can prepare this tool so it has become more and more popular and this is a reporting tool in msbi it has started losing the job clear so immediately what microsoft has done in 2015 they released a software called power ba clear so power ba is again a self-service ba it is a try to you know give a competition to the tableau or tableau ba software clear when the microsoft released power ba into the market because of its brand and no coding and easy to learn even msb is easy to learn so because of this many companies again started using because tableau b is even the self-service ba this is very very costly this is very very costly you have to run your own service buying the hardware maintaining the software licenses and recruiting the people is completely very very big pain uh, pain for the people many people when the power b released in 2015 many people have jumped from tableau to power ba so now power ba is in number one position and a tableau and a lot of other bas are available in the second and third position it is now leading it is now leading the entire world with the reporting software clear so if you wanted to learn power ba only reporting you know is not sufficient you should also learn what this this software this is what we are going to be replacing with the power ba so you have to know etl you have to know ssas and instead of ssrs ssrs is the reporting software as part of msba so instead of this so many companies are started using power ba clear so let me give you small introduction about sql server history okay so sql server is a microsoft 
rdbms product rdbms means i told you right you can store the large amount of data large means you know gps of data you can store so the first version is released in 1.0 in 1989 it is a purely you know rdbms or you can say it is a purely sql software sql or you can say rdbms software rdbms means you can store the data you can retrieve the data next version 3.0 next 5.0 next 7.0 okay next version is you know year 2000 they have released sql server 2000 so till year 2000 sql server is a rdbms software but so the next version got released in 2005 and this is not only rdbms software in this in this microsoft is added msba ssis and ssas and ssrs got added clear so if you ask me what is SSIS means, we can say it is SQL Server, SQL Server uh, Integration Services. So this is nothing but ETL. What is ETL? I'll be talking about tomorrow. So this is SSIS means this. SSIS means that SSIS means. So it is. Uh, analysis services so this is to analyze your data so all these things will understand tomorrow you should not be worried today and ssrs is that is reporting software you can create lot of reports and visualizations clear so this is a reporting software so you have to understand sql server 2005 onwards Microsoft is added MSBA. MSBA means three tools got added and SQL Server means we can store the data with the help of MSBA. You should be able to uh, perform the ETL operations. You can analyze the data, reporting the data. But today SSRS is gone. Instead of SSRS, many companies are going to use Power BI. But remaining tools you have to know thoroughly. SSIS and SSAS also should know thoroughly plus you have to know power bi plus you have to understand sql server sql concepts or rdbms concepts also you should know it so what is the next version we have it 2008 so next 2008 r2 so this got released in 2010 okay then 2012 then 2014 then 2016 then 2017 2019 now it is a 2022 the current version of sql server software is called as a 2022 software i will give you either a 2019 or a 2022 you have to install this in your computer so that we are going to be installing on the day after tomorrow clear so when you install sql server you should be able to get sql rdbms software plus msbi is also installed clear what is the current version current versions are 2019 and 2022 i'm going to be uh, giving you this and we will be installing it right you need to have the laptop configuration also yesterday right so what is the laptop you need to buy it if you want to buy a laptop compulsorily you need to have windows 10 or 11 plus minimum 4 gb of ram is needed any processor is fine except celeron okay so no celeron processors remaining things you can buy so this is the hardware any processor and hard disk 256 gb ssd or you can also have any equivalent to hard disk so one terabyte or more anything so softwares what all you need to you know install in this i will give you uh, I will give you, you know, SQL Server uh, 2019 software. I'll show you how to install it day after tomorrow. Then I will give you Power BI software and we will install day after tomorrow. Then you need to have MS Office. So any version is fine. Minimum 2007 or any later versions. That's it. So PDF or zipping, 
zipping softwares you need to have it so these are the softwares that you need to have in your computer so to work with the data analytics sql server 2019 or 2022 when you install sql server so what are going to be installed in sql will get installed plus msba also will be getting installed yeah am i clear and you need to understand what is ssis and what is ssis and ssrs tomorrow and this is how you need to understand so especially you have a lot of you know co database management softwares are available but even though these are available you need to understand microsoft power bi and microsoft msba has become more popular and these tools are completely gone out of the market now msba along with the power bi and some companies also using the tableau ba software and a tableau ba does not have any sql either you need to store the data in oracle or microsoft sql server but this can get the data and it can only create a reports and give it to you clear guys so what are the reports what are the visualization everything will be able to discuss in tomorrow's class no worries about it clear and when you have terabytes of data you can deal with this data but when you have more than terabyte of data so it is what is called petabyte of data okay when you have a petabyte of data zeta byte of data yuta byte of data and uh, you know uh, this kind of a data when you have it so this kind of a data is called as a big data this kind of a data is called as a big data. So how do you store this much of a data? Even data warehousing will fail. Even BI tools will fail to process this much of a data. This much of a data can be stored in the Hadoop. Okay. So you will be able to store the data and you will be able to also process the data. Clear. So when you have a large amount of data, this data is called as unlimited data. So when you have a terabytes of data, then only data warehousing plus BA is going to be working. When you have a large amount of data like petabyte of data, zeta byte, yuta byte, yola byte of data. So this is what is called big data or it is also called as a unlimited data. Okay. When you have unlimited data, your data warehousing will fail. Your BA applications also will fail. That is where you're going to be using Hadoop. Hadoop is going to be storing the data processing also at the date i will give you a simple example and i'll stop it so if you wanted to go to supermarket from your house okay it will be five miles or five kilometers how do you go you can go by a bike or you can go by a cycle or you can go by a car right so when you have small amount to be covered you may take a bike or a car or you can take a bicycle and go so but I wanted to go to 200 kilometers, 200 miles. Can I go by a bike? Or I wanted to go to 500 kilometers. Can I go by a bike? No, 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 no. I have to take a car or a bus or the train. When the distance is more, you are going to be changing the tool. When the less data, you can use Excel. When the more data, you are going to be using SQL and database management. You can also use the languages. Clear? Now, I wanted to go to... Uh, US from India. Can I go by a bus? Can I go by a train? No, 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 no. You have to go by a flight. So when the data is more and more, simple SQL is not going to work. You need to change to data warehousing with the BA. When the data is more, you have to change the tool. When the distance is less, bicycle or the Excel. When the distance is somewhat uh, manageable, we can go with the train and everything. When the distance is more and more, go by a flight. I wanted to go to rocket and the moon. Can I go by a flight? You have to go to rocket. So when the distance is unlimited, you need to use the rocket. You have to use so you can cover those kind of things with the rocket. When you have unlimited data to be stored, Hadoop can be used. So remember, you cannot have a rocket everywhere, you cannot have a bus everywhere and remember nothing is replacement for anything. So bus is not replacement for the flight, flight is not replacement for the bus, cycle is not replacement for the rocket. So nothing is you know, replacement for anything. All of them are needed. It depends upon the what is the size of the data that you have, depends upon that you need to choose one software. Clear? So data warehousing and BA tools are going to be used 
when you have the terabytes of data in the company, a normal you know, SQL and language cannot be used or normal Excel systems also cannot be used when you have terabytes of data. When you have a petabyte of data, we are going to be using Hadoop software. Yeah, am I clear? So tomorrow we'll talk about what is SSIS, what is you know SSAS and what is a data warehousing and everything we'll be talking about tomorrow. So did you understand? So depends upon the data, we are going to be using different, different tools. So depends upon the data, we are going to be using different, different tools. When you have a small amount of data, you will be able to use Excel. When you have a large amount of data, you can use SQL tools like this. When you have more data, data warehousing, even though you have more data, Hadoop systems. Clear guys? So yesterday, I spoke about uh, what is a data analytics and what is a data science. I told you about this. Please watch yesterday's video. People who missed yesterday's class, write me a mail so I will be able to send uh, yesterday's class, guys. Okay. You write me a mail. So after this class, baskarjogi gmail.com saying that, sir, I missed yesterday's class. In yesterday's class, I spoken about what is the data analytics? What is the data science? Data analytics means understanding the past. Data science means predicting the future. So both of them are not same. Clear? I given a lot of examples in yesterday's class. Please listen to the class once again. And today's class also, I will be sending it. So make sure you fill this form. People who are new today, they have to fill the form, guys. And uh, so if you fill the form, then only the videos are going to be shared. Otherwise, I don't know your mail ID. I will not be able to share the things. So you need to enter email address, full name with surname. Course details you need to mention Power BI, location, mobile number. Click on this. Okay. So this is what is important. Now, Manoj is asking, sir, storing GB data, we use SQL data RDBMS. For processing data, we need to learn language like C, C, with Java. So as I don't have any idea about languages, how can we process the data? Can you please explain? Now, we are not you know, target, targeting about processing this much of a data, right? So end of the day, we are not there to perform analytics on this kind of a data. Clear? We are going to be targeting towards this only. We are not going to be learning this because we are going to be learning uh, BA tools, right? BA tools means what? You are going to be targeting about this only. We need not learn this. You know, other team of people going to be learning and they will be working with this. But we are completely concentrating on this kind of a tools only. So it is not our tool. We cannot process the systems because other people will be taking the data and creating front-end applications and business-oriented applications. So we are completely you know, working with these tools only. Clear? So this is not our criteria. We are going to be using only because if you wanted to learn Python and Java, .NET, then you will become a front-end developer. So that is not what we are talking about. Okay. We are only, we have to write less code and no code and you should be able to get, because when you have a more amount of data, if you write the code, it will take a lot of time. Nobody will give you that much of a time today. They will tell you, I, this is my requirement tomorrow. You process the data, give me the data. So definitely when you use a language, you will be failed to submit the report or submit the summary to the uh, customer. So definitely you have to switch from languages to this one only. Am I clear? That's what. So guys, so tomorrow we'll continue. What is ETL? What is, you know, SSAS? What is SSRS? What is data warehousing? I'll be talking in the tomorrow's demo. Same meeting AD, same time we can meet. Tomorrow is the last class, last demo guys. And day after tomorrow, I'll show you how to install this, you know, software in your laptops if you have the laptop bring it ready with windows 10 or windows 11 if you have a windows 7 you have to format it you need to go to hardware shop ask them to upgrade to windows 10 or 11 if they say we are not able to upgrade then what you need to do so you need to buy the new laptop only windows 7 is not going to be used at all am i clear windows 10 or 11 must be used if you don't have the laptop ready you take one more week or minimum 10 days or two weeks time you take it, you get the laptop ready 
and try to install Windows 10 or 11 and we can continue further. So tomorrow is the final demo. You will be able to understand clearly. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to be taking any classes in Telugu, but if you need Telugu videos, Mamata, I'll give you. So Power BI Telugu videos are available. Uh, SQL Telugu videos are available. You can attend English classes, but I will give you Telugu videos. Same class is available in Telugu also. Serena, you can take that class and you can listen to that so that you can take the notes. Even though explanation is there in you know, Telugu, but notes will be there in English. So people who do not know uh, proper English, so you ask Telugu videos from my team. So all the videos are going to be recorded and it will be given it uh, for six months to you guys. And instead of taking the live class recordings, you can ask for the Telugu Power BE video so that you can watch them. You can take the notes also. Thank you guys. Any other questions? Tomorrow, last demo. And please, you know, attend by 8 o'clock with the same meeting ID guys. Thank you. Any questions?